Okay guys, episode 2 for Frenchman Model Works 68 foot steam freighter is here. In this episode we start assembling the boat and painting it. And hey, if you find this live format boring, tell me in the comments. Okay, so moving on with this kit. I got out a bunch of paint jars. I add some water to some to make them work again. Um, so I'm gonna dry brush the deck with this tan color, uh, the decking, decking, de decking. I am going to use this to paint the munions all the way around the the wheelhouse, and then I'm gonna glue these things in. So let's start off with uh, let's start off with the onions because we'll have to put in the glazings, and uh, we'll want to have that done. So I'm gonna be just add a little bit of this full strength. I'm not gonna add any water to this. I'm gonna add some water to the brush. I'm gonna squeeze it out just so that the bristles are wet before they touch the paint. I'm just gonna squeeze out the excess water. Um, this might be, this brush might be too big. The brush is too big. All brushes are too big. So, like I said, I'm just doing the windows and I'm gonna get the little ledge underneath. Got some black on there, but I'm just gonna go back with some white. Touch that up later. Just take your time while you're painting. It's okay to paint outside of the lines. Uh, you can always go back and put on another coat of the other color. Uh, I actually prefer to work a little bit sloppy. Because uh, most nice weathering ac uh, situations come from an accident. You know, come back and say, I meant to do that. When in fact you didn't. Definitely going to get a nicer brush. To work with the white. <laughs> Actually, uh, you know, working a little bit sloppy here too, so that I can show you that it's not the end of the world to uh, get paint on other parts. So, as you can see how this is going forward, that I'm definitely getting paint on other parts. And uh, I'm not worried about that because I've got... Uh, this paint over here and I'm gonna use that uh, not to paint fully but I'm gonna dry brush in the other sections and just make sure you get all the inside parts of your munions okay Let that dry. So I'm just going to have to paint on top of this. I'm going to have to 
paint any other part of it because it's going to be hidden. It's already painted a color. And I'm not painting it fully like a I'm leaving lots of variation in color, leaving the other, the background color showing through, all that. Also here I'm going to be painting over the, the parts that uh, I'm going to paint gunmetal gray. Because uh, I'm going to just paint it over it after, I'm just going to let it dry. Don't worry about getting it on the other parts. We're starting at the bottom and painting up so that uh, the next parts we uh, paint are on top of the parts we previously painted so we don't have to worry about too much unless we paint out, out of the lines too much. Like I said, I'm just using a slightly different color, just putting a highlight on these boards. Uh, you know, and then the last step will be to put weathering on these boards, but we'll do that after the these are glued onto the ship. Put this aside probably hit that with more paint later on so I'm just putting this in and pulling it to the top and uh, this is probably going to be painted white I'm going to put a heavy coat on this And I'll hit it again when it's uh, after it's been glued in. So uh, let's put this in first. Use my crazy glue. So we're just gluing this in. Uh, make sure it sits down nice and flat on the very bottom. Uh, there's a little crease along the side. Make sure it gets down past that. Now that it's in here. Perfecto. Now, there's a little notch in the bottom here and it fits right in the notch left in there so there's our bulkhead put that on both sides piece here it slides in right in behind the bulkhead so 
gonna have to glue this in very carefully. There's that. Starting to look good. Now, like I said, it's looking pretty dirty, but that's the way I want it. Pretty sure this goes here. So we're gonna finish off this glue. There's that, and I'm gonna run the glue. On the back. Slide it onto the front first, into the back, hold her down. Wipe off our crazy glue, excess glue. Just flatten it out if it needs to be. So this looks like a wood deck here, so I'm gonna paint that with my I have no idea what that sound was. Okay, so it's pretty much where we're gonna stay here and let everything dry solidly. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna paint in my white sections with the, this off-white. And then I'm gonna, after the paint is dry, I'm gonna come back and uh, put two-sided tape in the bottom here and then put uh, my glazings in the top so that you can get a realistic view of the cabin captain's wheelhouse so I let this all dry and uh, glue's all set up I uh, took my brass sheet uh, cut out the handrails uh, for the boat here and I painted them the flat tan color um, I'm gonna go back over them with the off-white uh, and then I'm also gonna paint these pieces the colors that I said I was gonna paint them before which I still haven't found my my gray just as I find two grays um, I'm gonna use burnt sienna for the the tie-offs and I found a brush so let's get started So as I always say, start from the back and work yourself forward. So I am going to be 
painting these and before I put the handrails in. Now burnt sienna is that color that is like a yellow rust. I like to use it up against the the oxide primer because it, it gives a a good color variation between the two. And you see the color variation in and of itself isn't important. It is how it changes when you add a little bit of weathering to it. So this being more of a yellow rust color When it gets hit by the the dirt, it'll look different than on the steam house in the boiler room. Okay, I'm gonna do the front. Probably gonna cut and come back. Okay. I'm going to paint this big bracket in the middle black. And then once the black is dry, I'm going to come back and hit it with the gray. I have a little bit of a philosophy on color. Uh, it's uh, when I was in school, there was two color wheels, one for light like one on a TV and one for paint and that's because paint you mix before you apply it but color you it mixes on the fly in uh, very unique ways so having said that I paint from my shadow on up so that I can get all these layers of color that are available when you watch a TV or see a projected image or a rainbow so this way I can uh, get some right, real nice contrast in this section of the detail. So I'll let that dry. Ah, so. I know I said I was going to paint these gunmetal gray, but I'm going to start with the black. Another reason why I'm doing this is because uh, my gray doesn't have a lot of peg pigment in it and it's real see-through. So by adding the black, I give it a, a different depth than if I just left it the tan color. 
Okay, so that's that. Thanks for watching another episode of Model Railroads and Structure Show. Next episode will be part four of Gil Mr. Cole, where we will place the model onto the diorama base. And after that, maybe we'll start our fine scale miniatures kit. <laughs>